Okay, good morning. This is uh, Council update following the uh, regular meeting of Council on April 14th. So I'll just roll through the agenda um, as usual and then I've got a couple of little updates at the very end to touch on as to what's going on over the next couple of weeks. So um, first bit was just a uh, first reading on land use redesignation from R1 to R1A. Uh, first reading went through and then we went into a public hearing and, and heard the presentations um, and the public comments on that. Secondly, we went through a few delegations. Number one came from uh, John Barlow, who is the Federal Conservative Party candidate for the McLeod riding. So John was just there to introduce himself to those that didn't know him and speak a little bit about why he's running for the uh, Federal McLeod riding MP. Uh, the other one, we had uh, Dustin Fuller, who's the Federal Liberal Party candidate for McLeod, and, and Dustin did the same thing, and uh, Dustin's new to us, so it was, it was really good to hear from Dustin and, and hear uh, his thoughts on, on what the Liberal Party could contribute to McLeod. NGO and Renewal Committee, uh, not Renewal Committee, Renew Committee update. Um, Mr. Jim Graham, who's a High River right who's stepped up and, and doing a heck of a job kind of managing through uh, all the NGOs and, and how the CDAC committee ties in with the NGOs, et cetera. So um, Jim gave us a presentation, just an update on, on how all these uh, programs are working. And, and in his words, it is working very, very well. Um, and it's just still working through the process. The important thing is that people still have to come forward and and we do know that there's still people out there that that need help um, pride is still very strong in their hearts but if you need help please call um, that's what these guys are here for that's all they want to do is is do whatever they can well, the fourth one is uh, delegation from Fury in the foothills uh, strive youth foundation that puts on the street hockey challenge Deanna and Devin were, were here just to, uh, you know, ask for continued Town of High River support with that, with that uh, event, and it's a huge event. They're looking at probably 500 kids this year up at Boston Pizza, so, um, you know, stay attached to uh, the information in the town crier and everything. They'll be putting, starting the marketing programs on it, so... Uh, if you've got kids that want to be involved in that, that is happening again this year, so that's great. Um, adoption of a whole bunch of minutes. We had a pile of minutes through, or a pile of meetings through March just to uh, keep things moving in High River, so went through a lot of that. Uh, land use bylaw amendment for what we call the Ellis lands, which are kind of out in that taco time area. Um, basically, this was just some housekeeping um, there was one piece, a list of discretionary uses, equipment, rental establishment was taken off because um, the developer just said it didn't need to be there, so we took it off for him. Um, and the other one was we we moved that portion, which is the 7.2 acre portion, we moved it from being urban reserve and R3 residential to uh, CSC, which is commercial shopping center district. So that's just... Moving on, the developer will come with his development permit now and we move forward from there. Uh, land use redesignation from R1 to R1A. This was a, a home um, up in the southeast, I guess it would be, uh, looking for a secondary suite that was unanimously defeated by council. So we are, you know, we're paying very close attention to where these, um, where these, uh, secondary suites are going. That one was in a cul-de-sac, so uh, cul-de-sacs are very, very tight for, for this stuff to be happening. In. There was a motion put on the agenda to relax for sign relaxation, um, and this would be, you know, the, the placard signs where you put all the letters in and spell out whatever you want your business to be um, marketing, but it was going to be a re relaxation that you know, we could do however many want along uh, 12th Avenue, and um, that was the big one, and kind of McLeod Trail and Center Street, I think, was also in there, but 
it was just to relax the whole bylaw and that was uh, that was also defeated by council unanimously it's just something that you know yeah we know we've got to get through the flood thing and everything but we're coming in on the year and we've got to start protecting this town where um, you know it's not quite the emergency that it used to be and we sure didn't want to as I put it to the press that I didn't want 12th Avenue to look like a NASCAR. The tax forgiveness, um, this was just another amount, um, which batch number six, I guess it is, to the amount of $112,505.05. So we did that. Budget, uh, we went through the capital budget. Um, we've been through this a lot over the last month or so, Council and, and Tom Meyer, CFO. Um, and we approved this capital budget uh, for 2014 of $8,345,000, um, which includes $3.5 million uh, for downtown streetscape improvements, which are the enhancements outside of what the government is paying for DRP, which is tearing the streets up, replacing infrastructure, and putting the streets back. The $3.5 million that we are spending is going to be for all the enhancements downtown. So um, that three and a half million, we are chasing grants federally and provincially um, to see if we can get some help on, on those expenditures so it's not all coming out of our pockets. So, so the Snowbirds, the Air Force group, um, have agreed to come to High River and I gotta thank Mark Pearl for, for bringing this to us. He's the one that kind of accessed it and he wanted to be involved in just bringing a, a good event to High River this summer for everybody. So um, thanks to Mark. They're coming on July 23rd. Um, it's not 100% confirmed. We have to find the right airspace and everything and look at all the safety concerns and everything else and make sure that everything's on the up and up. Um, but you'll hear more about that. It's about 98% that they're coming. But um, what we did yesterday was just approve them to use our airspace um, to do this show and then start to decide on which location would best fit this event. So right now ideally is out at the, out at the airport. Um, they can't use the runways out there, they're too short for those jets, but they'll just be flying out of Calgary and come down to High River to do the show. So thanks to Dana Dickens who's taken the lead on Dana that. Dana Dickens has done a great job in is, is the website we have, highrivertourism.com. It's an excellent website that you have to go see um, and, and share it with your friends. Put it on your Facebook pages. Uh, spread the word on it because there's, it's just everything that's happening um, for events that are in High River. Dana's done a great job putting that. And congratulations to Dana because she won an award for that from the Economic Developers of Alberta. Um, for mid to medium sized communities, she won the award um, for that tourism website. Um, other updates coming on this week, drop-in information sessions, April 15th and 16th, which is Tuesday and Wednesday, today and tomorrow, from 4 to 7 p.m. at the Memorial Center. Flood mitigation, un underground infrastructure program, emergency preparedness, downtown streetscapes, it's all there. The guys are down there to answer all of your questions. I'll be down this afternoon for a little bit. Um, annual street sweeping program has begun. This is a 10 week program, but we've started to clean up downtown. Um, it's always subject to weather, obviously, and this will just all, this will also continue throughout the summer as the amount of construction and just to alleviate the dust problems, et cetera. So the last big one that I want to mention is High River Alert. And this is the mass, notif emerg mass emergency notification system. Um, I want to make sure that as many people as we can get, I want 4,000 people signed up. We're at 1,600 right now. I want 4,000 people signed up by May. Um, there's no reason you don't have to live in High River. If you have parents that live in High River and you live in Calgary or elsewhere, just sign up so that you get the notification so that you know what, hap what is happening with your parents. <clears throat> Excuse me, if you live downstream on the Highwood, whether it be the Little Bow or the Bow River, you should really sign up because it's, a, it's an advanced warning as to what's coming your way. Um, this is all available, highriver.ca. You can't miss it. It's the first banner. You click on the banner, it takes five minutes to sign up. Um, this is extremely important. We all know 
um, what the lack of warning caused last year and, and we're doing everything we possibly can, but it doesn't work unless you sign up. So please sign up. If you don't sign up and you don't get any emergency notifications, don't call me. So thanks very much. Um, 4,000 people, I want them signed up by May. Let's do it. So um, keep everybody safe and make sure you uh, attend the info sessions tonight and tomorrow night, 4 to 7 at the Memorial Centre. And thanks very much. We'll see you in a couple of weeks.